What's up, Sunny fam? Today we are doing a fit, fab, and functional workout together, teaching you how exercise can be helpful in everyday activities. Uh, but before we get started, you know the drill. You like, you subscribe, you hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. And if you want more information about today's workout, check out our blog. It's pretty cool. I'll see you there. What's up, Sunny fam? Coach Anora here. We're gonna get started with a nice, easy bear hug. You can twist side to side, just like this. Now, I'm gonna talk about today's workout. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do some moves that are fit, that are fat, and that are functional. So they're gonna kind of mimic some daily life activities, which is pretty fun. Um, and we're gonna like talk about it. Like, why do we do this? Why is exercise important? You know, learn you some things. Now we're gonna squat, overhead reach. So we're gonna squat down, reach those hands overhead, and bring it back from the side. Push those hips back, chest stays up, and my arms reach over. Nice and easy. We're using kettlebells today, but if you have dumbbells at home, that's a-okay. I just like the version of the kettlebells because they kind of look like a bag, right? So we're gonna, you know, carry some grocery bags today. It's gonna be a good time. Now, part of being fit, fab, and functional is working on our balance. Are you ready for this? Ooh, one leg lifts and we hold. This is gonna help us engage our core, get ready for all the moves with the kettlebells. I have a variety of weights, um, but you can basically do all the moves today with um, a lightweight or a heavyweight. So how are you feeling today? You choose. Nice. Get five more seconds on the side. Maybe give it a little wiggle. Test it out. Ooh. Ooh. And switch. Now, when you switch, make sure you get your base of support before you lift off. Because some of us might have been like, whoa! Base of support first, okay? Soft knee in this standing leg. If you can, have that knee right at your hip height. We're just hanging out. We're chilling, having a good time. And then I'll go over the first move. So, ooh, you saw that? Try to go back, almost fell over. Oh, okay. And rest. Okay, shake it out, grab some water if you need to. I'm gonna go over our first move. It's gonna be a suitcase squat. We're only gonna do one side though, holding our weight. So I'm gonna pick a pretty heavy weight for my one side here. Suitcase squat, just like you're carrying your lovely suitcase, you're picking it up and you have to go down a flight of stairs. <gasps> Could you believe it? The escalator is broken today. So we dip it down and we drive it up. Are you ready? In three, in two, in one. Let's go. We're going for a minute because we're going to change sides after 30 seconds. Now, from the side, I have that weight right to my side. My shoulders are back and down. Chest is lifted. And if you have a weight that you can kind of tap on the floor, you have that range of motion, great. Go ahead, tap and drive it up. But try not to lean forward when you tap, right? You don't want to come here. You lose all that engagement. Keep it back. And we're switching in three, two, other side. So reset your shoulders and down. Nice. All right, I'm gonna face you guys. What's up? I actually recently came back from vacation. And I have to tell you guys, that vacation depression, whew, it is serious. You go away and you're like, why can't every day be like this? Why can't it? Lucky for me, I'm hanging with you for my work today. Three, two, and rest, so kind of nice. Now I'm gonna go a little lighter for this full body chop. All right, so full body chop. It's gonna look like we're picking something up and putting it away, yeah? So here it comes. I reach down into almost a lunge. I twist and I reach up, yeah? So we're tapping down, reaching up. Tapping down, reaching up. If you have the whole range of motion, you can tap and fully reach. Or towards the knee and up. Notice my feet are moving. They are not staying stationary. Tap and reach. Other side, ready? We tap and reach, just like you're picking something up from the ground. 
and reaching it up. Maybe you have a small child at home, you have to entertain them. You reach them on the floor and woo! Fun. Reach it and up. Or dishwasher up to the shelf. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we do these movements all day long and rest. All right, shake it out. We got a quick 15 seconds. We're going to a farmer's carry. I'm gonna use two weights for this. Mine are different sizes, but that's real life, right? So I'm gonna pick a heavy and a lighter. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna just walk, 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 walk. All the sunny fam walk like this, 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 this. Did you see that backwards walk? So we will switch sides. If you only have one weight at home, cool. Just carry it. This is gonna remind you of those grocery runs. Yeah. Keep it nice and tall. This is real balance. This is real core strength because this is what we need in our everyday lives. We gotta switch though. So we're gonna take it. One, two. In our second round, I'm gonna ask you what type of grocery person you are. You probably already know the question. It's like, how many bags are you gonna try and fit onto your arms? Do you think I'm a one tripper? Do you think I'm a multiple tripper? I don't know. We're gonna find out in the next round. Yeah, we're doing this two times through. I'm excited. And rest. Okay, we put that weight down. We put that weight down, just like we do all day long. I'm gonna go for a middle weight here. Grab it. Again, remember, your weights can all be the same for this. We're gonna do a little push press. Ready? We do a slight dip. We press overhead. Slight dip, press overhead. We're gonna use those legs for that press. Now, if your weight's a little lighter, maybe we take it without the legs here and just push here. This is basically, if you wanna become the best aunt and uncle, this is what you do with your nieces and nephews. Right here, you're getting an amazing arm pump and that kid is in love with basically. Okay, we're almost there. Whew. Soft bend in those knees if you're not adding the dip. Still at soft bend, or we have that dip. Whew. Getting a little cardio in here. This is also really good form to practice when you have that kid up in your arms. Whew. One more. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're gonna get on the floor for this next one. I'm gonna keep this weight, challenge myself a little bit here. We're gonna go arms starting at the chest. Okay, we're gonna do a glute bridge, come up into a sit up. I'll give you the option to have the weight overhead as well. You ready? Here we go. So, glute bridge, sit up. Glute bridge, sit up. Now, you're like, this seems a little bit more fitness related. Well, guess what? You're laying in bed, okay? You gotta get out of bed. That's that sit up. Glute bridge, this feels amazing. Glutes do so much for us, so we need them. Yeah. And up. Now, if you wanna take an advantage of an advancement, take those arms up right here. Glute bridge, keep them up. <sighs> Glute bridge. Keep those arms up. You are almost there. We are almost done with our first round here. Let's do one more rep. Here, up, 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 and rest. Okay, that is our first round. But we're going right into the second round. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Suitcase squat, this was a heavier weight. If you have that option, are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Suitcase. Now, a lot of times in our daily lives, we're gonna automatically put our weights onto our dominant side, right? So, we're switching. It's important in your workouts to switch your weights and work both sides, sometimes unilaterally, meaning one side at a time, because that's gonna help build your strength on both sides evenly. Switch it up, here we go. It also will let you know when sometimes you have a little imbalance in your strength levels. 
We all have it, it's A-OK, -okay, but fitness can help us with that. It can help us even out, keep that strong core, keep our balance, keep us staying upright, not falling down. Kind of a win-win situation. Two more. Of course I'm tight, you ready? Down and up. Awesome, okay. I'm going lighter here, okay? This is the crazy one, full body chop. Taking a dish from the dishwasher, highest shelf. Are you ready? In three, in two, let's go. I mean, honestly, don't you feel fabulous when you work out? That's how I feel. Yeah, it's hard, of course it is, right? But all those endorphins, some oxytocin, if you give yourself a big bear hug, you know, did you guys know that? Hugs, release oxytocin. It makes you feel good. So, hug a friend. It's cool. One more. Ooh, high shelf. Nice. All right, here's the thing. Husbands and wives, right? There's always one who's terrible at dishes. Terrible. Mine is my husband. I'm great at dishes, okay? I don't know if he does it on purpose. I really don't. He's a great vacuumer, loves a good vacuum. But dishes, terrible, absolutely awful. Rest, okay, that was nice, that was good. Farmer's carry, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna step this up, okay? Cause I'm gonna let you know who I am in this grocery run. Three, two, whew, shoulder blades back and down. I am definitely a one tripper. I'm gonna fit as many bags as you possibly can on these skinny arms of mine, okay? Yeah, these are long. A lot of bags can fit onto these arms. And I'm gonna try and balance that big roll of toilet paper on my shoulder like I'm some kind of acrobat or tight roper. It's insane sometimes what I do. Halfway, let's switch. But I try and do it. And it makes me feel good. What about you? Comment. I would love to know if you are a one tripper on the grocery run or a multiple tripper. I mean, when I think about it, multiple trips would mean more steps. So technically, it would also be great for my health and maybe less risk of dropping everything I own. I have dropped the blueberries. Devastated. Have you done it? Rest. Devastated. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even believe myself. Blueberries all over the floor. And of course, my husband there to watch it all, not helping at all, blamed me because I one tripped it. Ready, here we go. Push press. Whew. Kids overhead, having the best time of their life. Maybe you're like, I'm not a kids person, I'm a pet person. Your cat and dog will also love this. Maybe not your cat, but maybe your dog, okay? Cats are a little, you know, they choose you, right? Dogs will automatically choose you, but cats, they're a little bit more particular. I had a cat, her name was Azu. Great name, I know, thank you. Um, you keep working, I'll work too. Um, but she hated everyone except me, and it felt so good. She also passed away, I know, so sad, and I literally painted a picture of her and it said R.I.P. Zazu in the steps. Yeah, that's how emotionally connected I was with her. We got two more. Oh my gosh. Oh. Tell me the name of your favorite pet, if you've had one. Maybe you don't like pets, also tell me that in the comments. Let's have a chat, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go lighter on this because I'm gonna tell you, that blue felt a little aggressive in the first round. We're gonna go to that glute bridge, but I'm gonna keep my arms up the whole time. You ready? Let's do it. So. Glute bridge, ooh, squeeze that tush. Up, oh, feels so good. Squeeze it, sit up. Squeeze it, sit up. This is gonna help you get in and out of bed every day. Woo! Have you ever done a hard ab workout and then the next day like you roll over and you're like, oh my God, I had no idea these muscles did anything besides eating potato chips. I know, 
I've had the same thought. I was like, what? These do something? Ooh! I feel like they were just meant to haunt me for the rest of my life as I was eating all my potato chips. Oh, oh my God, gosh, less than 10 seconds. I had to look, I was like, I'm tired. Are you tired? Oh, one more, let's do it. Let's do it together. Sunny Fit fam, and we're up. Back down, you gotta finish it. Oh, that was definitely fabulous. I hope you feel that way. Remember, if you want more information about functional training, check out that blog. We have tons of information on our Sunny uh, Health and Fitness blog, so check them out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, comment below, say hello, and be sure to cool down. We just crushed it right here. Lots of stretching, all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and I will see you next time.